I'm not really sure how this thing works, to be honest, but we're gonna, I'm gonna give it a shot. I'm gonna get my face in there. Okay. Well, would you look at that? Uh, it looks like we got the uh, thumbnail sorted, at least. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to a brand new hot loaf of pumpernickel bread. My name is Leon Lush, and I'm very appreciative that you decided to click on this video and spend a few minutes here with me today. Now, just the other day, I realized that the 29th of August this year, which was just about two weeks ago now, was the 10-year anniversary of my first upload to youtube.com. Now that fact, along with the imminent soiree with the 300,000 subscriber milestone, I thought it might be fun to just dig back in and kind of look at the last decade on and off YouTube uh, and what that's been like for me. Now, if you're new here and you haven't invested a lot of time into getting to know my content and this idea isn't that intriguing for you, I implore you to stay because your watch time will help promote my channel in the YouTube algorithm. And if we're being honest, the only thing that should matter to you right now is my needs. Now, those of you that have been around for a minute, you know I appreciate you. Uh, and hopefully you learned something new about young Leon. So let's hop in the DeLorean and uh, skirt back to 2008 real quick. Ah uh, yes, one year out of college, with a face smoother than a baby's ass cheek, young Leon had purchased his first acoustic guitar, studied a few John Mayer DVDs, and was ready to take this brand new world of online video by storm on his way to selling out arenas because of his sweet, sweet love songs. <sighs> nope. <laughs> so I graduate college with an exercise science degree in 2007, right? And I got money on the brain. So I end up getting this really fancy sales job, right? Because I smash the interview, bring the charisma, I get the job. I'm thinking, hell yeah, Leon's about to make some bank. Fast forward a year, I've made a little bit of money, but I hate my fucking life because sales sucks dick. I drive cross country to San Diego with my best friend who was moving out there at the time. And while I'm out there for two weeks, I realize that I hate my fucking life and I hate my job. So I call my boss, I give my two weeks, I buy a guitar and a key board and a microphone and say, fuck it, I want to be a musician. I don't try to fight this feeling because I thought alone is killing me right now. <laughs> Like, literally a parent's worst nightmare. Your son just goes into thousands and thousands of dollars of student loan debt to get through school, lands himself a lucrative sales job, and then after a year, quits that sales job to become an emo singer-songwriter. <laughs> I can just picture my dad on the other end of the phone. Well, you quit your job? Yeah, why, though? Okay, okay, you got a guitar, that's nice, but what do you, what do you... Oh, you're gonna be, you're gonna be a musician. Uh <laughs> Take your time. Don't live too fast. Now I joke about it because I like to have fun, but in reality, any time in my life where I've made a huge decision that was maybe questionable or done something stupid or made a bullshit choice somewhere along the line, my parents have always been nothing but supportive and loving no matter what I wanted to do. And I consider that probably one of my biggest blessings in life is always having their support no matter what. And I know they sometimes watch these videos, God bless them. <laughs> so Grandma and Grandpa Lush, if you're watching this, Love ya. So I spent the next two to three years just trying to get better as a musician, playing guitar, and I was uploading covers as much as I could. I wrote some originals, made about 80 videos, give or take, over the course of that time, most of which are privated now because, god damn, I look at some cringy shit currently on this channel to get a good laugh, but some of this shit I put up back then was like atomic levels of cringe. I can't even, it's tough for me to even look at it now, but most of it's privated. Let's let's actually take a quick peek at, at a couple of the gems. I thought in addition to the music, I would do a little side video log. I guess they call it a vlog. I'm kind of new to this thing, so you'll have to bear with me. But in addition to the music, uh, I'm going to be doing the video log to try to keep people updated on, on how I'm doing. And... Oh, yeah, newsflash, young Leon. No one fucking cares. Hey, how you doing? Um 
another Tuesday night here, hanging out at the pad. It's been a while since I've actually done any vlogging, but this is this is mainly for uh, video purposes. I'm not even exaggerating when I tell you that watching this now makes me want to delete my entire fucking YouTube channel. I colored for the first time yesterday. Yeah, I covered the Jonas Brothers. Um, I was a tool. <laughs> well, I still am actually. Uh, I'm just a much different kind of tool now. What's happening? Um, this is a new song I wrote kind of recently called uh, Happy As You Are. <laughs> or something. I don't know. Oh, God. I don't know an exact title yet, but. Um, oh, sorry. I hope I'm you so enjoy. Sorry. All right. So some of the covers I did that don't make me want to unzip my skin and crawl out of it are still up on the channel, but most of them are privated for good reason. I've been creeping up to 200 subscribers over the past couple of weeks I've been posting, which is awesome. I really appreciate you guys' support. Um, you know, I love the feedback, I, the comments, any of that. Uh, it's always nice to hear. It keeps me going. So this is 2009, about a year into making videos, and I'm creeping on 200 subscribers, and I'm just appreciating the support. Fast forward nine years, still appreciate the support. <laughs> like, I must have woke up that day and thought to myself, man, I would love to record a song today dressed up as the Hamburglar. And uh, apparently I executed it perfectly. What the fuck? So by 2011, I'm in my mid-20s, I'm broke, YouTube's pretty stagnant, so what do you do? You join a band, obviously. So So for the next four to five years, this was my life. I was the lead singer, I wrote the songs, we toured around New England, played a lot of great shows in Boston with some other incredible bands, made an EP, made a full-length album, and uh, I completely fucked off YouTube uh, in the meantime, right at the same time YouTube was really starting to gain steam around 2010 and 11. So during this four to five year stretch, this was one of the only videos I uploaded to YouTube and it was like an acoustic cover of a song that I wrote for the band at the time. So now I'm in my late 20s and I had a great run with the band, but I'm getting to that point in my life where I'm settling down a little bit with my now wife and I just didn't see a future with the band. So I made an amicable choice to, to leave the band and kind of reinvest all of that time I was using at, you know, practice time and playing shows and traveling around. I wanted to put all that time back into uh, reigniting my efforts to make online content because I had realized at that point that I kind of missed the boat a few years ago. I, I just, I fucked it off right as it started to, you know, become a serious thing. And I was like, well, I might have missed it for a few years, but I'm going to come back and give it a shot again. We'll see what happens. So I'm broke as fuck. The only thing I can afford at that time is 24 packs of Miller High Life. So I borrow my girlfriend's credit card. God bless her for trusting me. I buy an iMac and I spend the next nine to 12 months just watching tutorials every single night learning how to use Photoshop, Logic Pro, and Final Cut Pro. So I spent almost a full year watching tutorials and just training myself how to use different pieces of software before I even uploaded anything to the internet again. And when I was finally ready to make my triumphant return to YouTube, that's when the Lispy Glasses era started. Hello my precious friends. I am Lispy Glasses and I'm here to try and help you with one of your most improbs. <laughs> Lucky for you. Lispy Glasses likes to take pride in cutting straight through the bullshit. Lispy Glasses takes pride in cutting straight through the bullshit. <laughs> I had no fucking idea what I was doing. I was just throwing content at the wall and seeing if it stuck. And none of it stuck. <laughs> Did a video about Game of Thrones. In the series from episode one. You will be blown away at how much you I did a mail haul. The thing I got was a letter from Aetna. Um, which is my insurance provider through my employer. Uh, I actually already opened it, so. We'll reopen it for you. I also started a series called Real Talk, where I spent just a few minutes talking about, well, absolutely nothing, it would seem. Hi, my name's Leon, and this is a Real Talk video. Hi, this is Real Talk with Leon, where I flip my camera on for 10 minutes and 
talk about the first thing that comes to my mind. So 13 videos later at this point, and to my dismay, I'm not yet making millions of dollars. So I just, I don't know what to do. So now I go into the phase of my life that we will never speak of again after this moment in time right now. And if you bring it up ever, from this point forward, we are no longer friends. It is the moment in my life that I am the least proud of. Uh, and that is because I decided I wanted to become a social media expert. <coughs> hey, how's it going? My name is Leon and welcome to Gram by Gram, which is a weekly video series I'm gonna be doing documenting my attempt at building an Instagram following to promote my brand. Yeah, I started a series called Gram by Gram where I was documenting my attempt at building an Instagram following while hoping that that would help teach others how to do the same through, you know, posting motivational quotes. <clears throat> the next thing I wanna to touch on is follow for follow. Uh, yeah, I made 15 episodes of that and didn't even kill myself. And looking back, I consider that an incredible show of restraint. It was not a happy time in my life, let's put it that way. And today, I wanna do a little Snapchat tutorial for you. I swear to fucking God, if you speak of this again, I will sever your throat with a broadsword. So finally, with the help of Gary Vaynerchuk preaching about self-awareness, I reached a point where I looked in the mirror and I was like, what the fuck are you doing, you fake ass bitch? I realized that if I wanted to accomplish anything, I had to just start being genuine and putting myself out there. And for me, that is just being kind of like this middle-aged nihilist that has kind of a filthy mind and watched Tommy Boy and Ace Ventura probably way too many times as a teenager. So all this is happening right as Leafy is here is at his absolute apex. He's getting like a hundred plus million views a month, raking in hundreds of thousands of dollars. And to say the very least, I'm intrigued by that. What I love about this shit, this story, this kind of YouTube thing is that it's just this dude in his basement making like shit quality videos that are entertaining to massive amounts of people just making like doctor money. For their investigation, it looks like this saddest man on YouTube video is one of the ones that sparked his big push in January, uh, followed up shortly thereafter by the saddest man on the internet. These two kind of beefed out for a little while and then got invited on drama alert where they were on drama alert. So that was when I made my first really commentary style video called Leafy is here makes how much question mark? Uh, just about two years ago. And for me, that video was kind of the, the starting point, the infant stage of the style I've kind of developed into today with my editing and the, and the videos that I make. And honestly, after years of trying to pretend like I knew what I was doing online, it was liberating to just swear a lot and say whatever the fuck I wanted, not filter myself and just talk about shit that mattered to me at that time, which was, you know, people making millions of dollars on the internet making shit videos in their mom's basement like Leafy was doing. So fast forward two more years and about a hundred or so videos later, and here we are, man. About to cross 300,000 subscribers. Certainly not the fastest growing channel on YouTube. Uh, but I'm very grateful for what uh, I've been able to accomplish these past couple years and none of that could have been possible without you guys watching and giving me uh, some of your time each week. So uh, I'm so grateful to you for doing that and uh, I hope I can continue to uh, be self-aware and use my strengths to create comedic commentary that hopefully uh, brightens your day a little bit from time to time. Now, I know I didn't talk about <clears throat> pretty much the main event of this channel at all. Uh, because I don't think I had the, I don't have the time in this video. It's gonna, it's gonna be, have to be a separate video to talk about the origin of this love affair between Nigel and I. So maybe I'll put that on the back burner and try to get that done sometime. But in the meantime, you guys, thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, go ahead and subscribe. Actually, if you're new here, there's no way you made it this fucking far. But if you did, God bless, hit the fucking subscribe button. And uh, for the rest of you, thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned a little something new about uh, the journey of Leon Lush through a decade on and off of YouTube. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. If you could do me a favor, actually, before you um, take off, grab like an empty can of soda water and just, oh my God. And then, so do that and then hip thrust the motherfucking like button for me. I'd appreciate it. Leave a comment too. Uh, fuck. You, 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 I need some motherfucking you.